Do you flinch when you see a fingerprint on your flat screen? Stick around and I'll show you the proper way to clean your television. Hello my little boob tubers, it's Melissa Maker here from Clean My Space and I'm going to show you today how to properly clean your flat screen television. I just want to say quickly, I'm now married, yay! So please, stop sending your proposal requests into my inbox. I've got a few questions about how to clean flat screen TV, so this one just goes out to all of you who have asked me the same question. What I want to point out to you is that if you are going to use some form of liquid, it should only be distilled water, not from a tap, and no other cleaning products. If you use anything other than distilled water, you'll have residue left on the screen. If you're using water from your tap, you could have deposits or buildup eventually end up on there, and that will ruin the anti-glared finish. You never want to spray directly at the screen. Reason being, if anything drips down into the bottom where the screen meets the binding, your screen will be trash. The other important tool to have is a proper microfiber cloth. Don't use anything like paper towel, clothing, or any other cloth because it will undoubtedly scratch your screen and that will also make your screen trash. Flat screen television manufacturers are wise enough to put an optical cloth in your box. You can clean and dust your screen with just the cloth for general everyday maintenance. But when you do find a streak or a fingerprint, that's when you want to start involving some moisture. So I'll start off by showing you a cleaning tip that doesn't even involve water. Let's get started with the most simple form of liquid on the planet, our breath. This tip is great for cleaning off little fingerprints on your screen. Your breath will provide enough moisture for you to wipe away that annoying little fingerprint without ever worrying about damaging your screen. So all you need is a little cloth, take a deep breath, find the spot on your screen that needs cleaning, and blow. Locate the fingerprint or streak directly on the screen that you want to get rid of. Take a deep breath. Exhale directly over the fingerprint or streak. After that, take your cloth and quickly buff it dry in a circular motion. Another quick tip, when you're cleaning, just make sure that the TV is off and it's been off for a while. You want to give it a few minutes to cool down before you do any cleaning. Now the water method. If the mark on your screen happens to be anything nastier than a fingerprint or a streak, you need to involve some liquid. Let me just remind you of my rules regarding using liquid close to a flat screen television. Never spray directly on the screen. If you're going to spray a cloth, stand away from the television and do a light mist spray. If you want to spray directly on your screen, you might as well throw your warranty directly into the garbage. Once you've got your misted cloth, and it should be almost dry, you want to locate the spot on the screen that needs the cleaning and wipe in a circular motion just to get rid of that fingerprint, nothing more. Once it's misted, you can take your finger and put it into the cloth like this so that you can be very exacting with where you want to do your cleaning. But don't apply too much pressure. If you do, again, take the warranty and throw it out. Your TV is going to be toast. And also, in case you're wondering, I am fully aware that there's an ad for polka dot underwear right behind me, so <laughs> yay, fruit of the loom! For the frame of your TV, which is referred to as a high gloss finish or a piano black finish, can be cleaned the exact same way that your screen can be cleaned. Ultra damp dry cloth, and make sure that you buff it dry with a perfectly dry cloth at the end of it, or else you'll get those annoying watermarks. So the tip that I gave you is actually a great way to maintain your TV, but also save a whack load of money. I mean, do you know what these kits go for? Hey, if you're gonna buy the kit, just email me the money. The basic contents of a kit are the optical cloth that you already get for free spray, which is, sorry guys, basically a little bit of rubbing alcohol in a lot of water or a teeny tiny bit of dish soap in a lot of water. That's all it is. The secret is out. Is that worth your hard-earned $14? If you follow the tips that I gave you, your TV will be in great working order for many years to come, or until they come out with a new piece of technology. So everyone, thanks for your great questions. I hope that that solved your cleaning conundrums surrounding your flat screen television. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any cleaning questions or comments about what I've just shown you, drop it in the box below. If you want to follow us on Twitter, you can do so, twitter.com slash cleanmyspace. And if you are interested in more cleaning bids, click the button above to subscribe. Thanks for watching, BoobTubers. We'll see you next time.